Well, I'd just like to uh, ex express a uh, very strong note of appreciation for the SpaceX team uh, th that's worked. It's, it's been 17 years to get to this point, from 2002 to now. Um, and uh, in incredible amount of uh, hard work and sacrifice from a lot of people that uh, gotten to this point. Um, and uh, yeah, to be frank, I'm, I'm a, a little emotionally exhausted because uh, uh, that was super stressful. But it worked so far. We have to dock the station, we have to come back. Uh, but as, so far, it has worked. Um, some of the riskiest items have, um, we've passed some of the risk, riskiest items. Um, but I'd like to uh, also uh, exp express a, a great appreciation for uh, NASA. Um, SpaceX would not be here without NASA, um, without the incredible work that was done before SpaceX even started, and without the support uh, after SpaceX did start. So thank you. We're only part way through the mission, but the, uh, uh, the, the system thus far has um, passed uh, an, an exhaustive set of reviews. Um, and then in the launch itself, um, um, the launch went as expected. So, so far, everything is nominal. Uh, the uh, Dr Dragon 2 or Crew Dragon is a fundamental redesign. It's, it's I don't, uh, hardly a part in common with Dragon 1. Um, which in retrospect will probably change, actually. <laughs> but uh, it's, there's a, lot, a tr mass amount of new, new equipment on the vehicle, uh, and um, everything appears to be working fine. Uh, so, yeah, um, we opened the nose cone. The, uh, the forward Draco thrusters fired. Uh, the propellant system is working. Uh, it's much more complex than Dragon 1 uh, because you have the uh, integrated launch escape thrusters, the Super Draco uh, launch escape thrusters on the side. Um, I, in fact, I'm not sure if people so know why is the, you know, what, what's say, say better about Dragon than, than some other vehicles is that it does have integrated escape, uh, an integrated escape system. So previously, um, you'd have a tractor escape system, like a, a, a solid rocket motor um, on, mounted on the nose of the capsule as, a, as sort of a tractor. Uh, it would sort of pull the, 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 the uh, spacecraft away. That's how Soyuz works, for example. Um, but uh, in, this, in the case of Dragon, they're, they're integrated. So you have an abort capability all the way to orbit. So that, uh, and you do not have to worry about uh, a separation event of the launch escape system. So this, this is, I think, a quite a big safety improvement uh, in, in principle. Um, and then over the next, uh, well, hopefully tomorrow, in about 24 hours, we'll be docking with the space station um, so that it will be able to dock the space station without using the, the, the arm. Um, yeah. um, docking with the space station is going to be, we'll be docking for the first time. Previously, we would go close to the space station and the arm would reach out and, and grab um, in, drag, in case Dragon One uh, would grab Dragon One and attach it to the space station. In this case, the spacecraft will fly on, literally fly on to the space station um, and attach itself. So um, that's certainly going to be uh, you know, something new um, that we've never done before. And uh, and then reentry uh, because the, uh, the the back shell is is not symmetric in the way. It, that Dragon 1 is. And it's, it's not sort of a smooth conic like Dragon 1. You've got the uh, launch escape thruster pods. Um, that could potentially um, could potentially cause a role instability on reentry. But I think it's unlikely. We've run simulations a thousand times, but this is a possibility. So I think that, that uh, um, the reentry uh, with the asymmetric uh, back shell and then the, the parachutes are, are new. Well, the parachutes deploy. Uh, correctly, will it, and then will it, uh, uh, will the system guide Dragon 2 to the right location um, and splash down safely? I see hypersonic reentry is probably my biggest concern. Oh, just because of the asymmetric back shell. The, the, the video, we did get video from the ground station, so uh, um, in fact, 
we'll hopefully be able to post some of that soon. Uh, and for sure, once we get close to the station, we'll have a good video link uh, from inside the spacecraft. Um, the bias was towards data, getting making sure we got the, the data down. So data's all looking really good. Uh, and uh, But I, I think if for members of the public, the, um, the real fun thing would be seeing um, celest the little celestial buddy, uh, little tiny Earth, humanoid Earth thing floating around in zero G. I think the public will probably be most excited about that. Well, it's in zero G now, but it would. No, I mean, oh, and uh, oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's uh, like probably, you know, probably we got to about four and a half Gs or something like that. It's no problem. Yeah. The mannequin didn't complain once. Yeah, no, it, lo <laughs> it, lo it looked fine. <laughs> we, we didn't look to. Uh, you, you couldn't even tell. It's just uh, it, lo it looked like a still. F yeah, looked fine. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're only part way into the mission, but um, so far it, it, it seems looking very good. Uh, the, the Dragon 2 has a very complex propellant system because of the fact that it's got an uh, on-orbit maneuvering, uh, it's got 16 on-orbit maneuvering thrusters, the little Draco thrusters, which are kind of small thrusters, and it's got the eight Super Draco thrusters, which are very powerful thrusters, uh, and the, the two um, are interwoven in a way that's quite tricky. Um, and the, the, the main maneuvering thrusters on orbit uh, actually um, thrust in the opposite direction that the propellant wants to flow. <laughs> but so those worked. The, the forward thrusters under the nose cone worked, which is, that's a, that's a big risk reduction. The nose cone opened, which is cool. The solar arrays work. Uh, so far, everything looked good. Um, so, if, you know, docking, as I mentioned, reentry. You know, you can, see, can sort of see the illustration of there on the wall. Um, what I mean by the, the back shell not being sort of a smooth conic like it is on Falcon uh, on, on Dragon One. It's got those uh, es escape thruster pods. Um, so uh, you know, if, sh should be fine. But that would be a, you know a thing to make sure that it works on reentry. Make sure the docking system works. Um, everything we know so far is looking positive and. Unless something goes wrong, I uh, would think that uh, we'll be flying, hopefully, this year. Yeah, I mean, this summer, hopefully. C humanity landing on the moon, man, that was maybe the greatest thing ever. Maybe the greatest thing ever. Um, so I can't believe we're launching from that pad. Thank you, thank you for letting us. <laughs> <laughs> do that. Thank you for refurbishing <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, it's really hard to believe. It's, it's an incredible history. Hope we go back to the moon soon. That's the goal. Yeah. Have, have, we should have a base on the moon, like a, a permanently occupied human base on the moon and send people to Mars, you know, and a city, build a city on Mars. That's what we should do. We've not sought any private customers. Uh, our focus has been on um, serving NASA's needs. But uh, once the um, w once Dragon is in, in regular operation, I think we will we will um, seek uh, com commercial customers, and uh, of which the NASA administrator and, and NASA in general has been very supportive of, of that of that idea. So. Um, but we've been very focused on just making sure that the, the vehicle worked um, and maximizing safety and reliability. Uh, and we've not put any, any effort into yet into uh, commercial customers. You know, uh, sort of private citizens that want to go to the space station, as has happened before, the, they've, they've always gone on, on the uh, Soyuz before. You know, there's been a number of people that have gone to the space station on the Soyuz. And I think it would be pretty cool if uh, people went to the space station on an American vehicle as well. You know, uh, Soyuz is a good vehicle, but um, but it'd be good if if, if uh, you know there were also um, commercial uh, trips on on an American vehicle as well, um, and that's uh, so I think that's one of the things uh, that that we'll will do, um, and um, and obviously NASA is very supportive of that, um, and um, yeah, so and then, and then you know maybe there's something beyond. Uh, Beyond the beyond the space station, that we'll we'll see. We've got to focus on the getting this this right for sure. That's the priority. Uh, but then after that, maybe something beyond beyond low Earth orbit.